Hello everybody and welcome to Maxwell Selects to End Farming Simulator 22. I'm just going to give you a quick recap. Uh, so on the last video we were doing a bit of ba uh, bailing. Ba <laughs> oh dear, let's go. We are using the plow and that had actually getting quite low on repairs. So Alexa has repaired that so that's now been fully repaired. We have found all 10 of one of the collectibles, which gave us a £100,000 bonus, which is why the money's gone up to 200 even though we repaired that. And a, another quick update is we've also been looking at getting a new baler, if we could. Now, we checked up the sales area, and voila, we had a new baler in there. Well, they're not new. They did need a repair, etc. So they're a bit cheaper. So this baler was roughly about 60000 in there. So we bought it, as you can well see. Now, in the standard store to purchase the baler, it is... Where is it now? Let's find it. There we go. 159 So we paid 60 So... Yeah, they're sort of second hand, but yeah, we think we've had a good saving there. We sold the smaller other baler, and that was about 29,000 something. So yeah, we almost got this for about 30,000 pounds. So that was a bit of a bargain. Wasn't it, Lexa? Whee! Yep. <laughs> so it agrees. So today, to uh, continue the story, we are going to use our also second-hand bargain basement purchase we made recently of the trailer. So we are in this field here. Lex has got the harvester already. And we're going to harvest our canola. So uh, there's Lex there. So do you want to use the uh, harvesters to start with? And then we'll uh, swap over. Off he goes. Now we're hoping that we can use the money to get ourselves a new improved tractor. I think that's our uh, next obligation. The two tractors we got have done as well for the last year. Uh, but I think we need something with a bit more oomph. So uh, we're going to save the money up for, uh, for that. I'm not sure which one we're going to get yet, we'll take a look at the time. Uh, Alexa thought it might be a good idea to get different make ones, so uh, we was looking perhaps at a new Holland one. There we goes. And obviously after this field we do have our sunflowers to harvest, but they're not ready just yet. The sunflowers, as you can see, in the orange won't be ready until October time. And we've also got the grapes, which actually that's September, so uh, the grapes might well be ready next month as well. So that's good. So uh, we've got our own harvest pretty much each, each uh, month. So how are you doing, Lexter? So we got all this one to harvest today. Of course, we certainly got an advantage of having the bigger trailer this time. That will save not having to make so many trips to and fro the store. Of course, once we've uh, harvested this field, it does mean similar. We've got to get this field ploughed and cultivated, or maybe put a roller on it and put the lime on it, a fertilizer, whatever's needed to make a crop for next year. You can already see, we've got quite a lot of stones on this one. We've not really done the stone picking. 
I'm hoping next thing we'll be able to uh, reach the tractor. And if we can see the halves are working its way there. We will have to rent the front header that's needed for the sunflowers because we don't own a header to cut the sunflowers. So we will rent that one for the day. It's not really worth purchasing. We don't really have to spend money to purchase any different sunflower heads or sweet corn heads. We were thinking about putting uh, sweet corn as one of our crops to grow next year. Now, if you are lucky enough to uh, be live somewhere where you can get up close to Half Sisters, then uh, you know it's obviously a great sight to see. As long as you keep your distance, because the back and the dust can be well very dusty. Let's see if he's got enough uh, to reach the trailer. What side is the pipe? The pipe's on this side, so uh, that's good. Probably have to move the tractor over. See if that's uh, any good. That's if he needs emptying, of course. Yep, yeah, he's bringing the pipe out. It's always an advantage if you can harvest around the side of the pipe and then if you have got someone with you to collect the seeds then you can obviously drive around the outside without damaging the crops So we're at fifteen percent on the trailer. It's still being emptied, although it will do, because obviously we're driving alongside. I'm taking it because it's staying steady at fifteen percent. That the uh, half itself has uh, pretty much been emptied. I'm letting take this corner around the edge so the other good a real good bonus to this is the fact that all this harvest and the money from it will be ours always a uh, a great bonus to know this is all the work that we've done okay so let's uh, allow him to go around rather than follow around so let's take the, the tractor around the edge Oop, steady the birds are out already you can take them long so we're getting a uh, tractor back to the corner there so yeah we're hoping as you say work the money towards a new tractor and uh, great having a new baler and also having the uh, 
the grapes and the sunflowers to harvest will of course bring back some extra money for us where is it there he is at the top there so we are now in august one of the things that we did think about last year was uh, I say last year, I'm talking <laughs> in the uh, months of the game that we did get ourselves a couple of little cheap plows let's be honest, they were the cheaper ones <laughs> they didn't really work so we was hoping perhaps to um, get better winter equipment again, whether we're actually going to buy uh, whether it might be the sales bit or whether we can actually rent is another story so it is uh, I think that uh, we wanted to do a bit better. saying about the New Holland tractor of course we've got a New Holland harvester there so we're looking forward to having the DLC that's coming up but it's not until the end of June because that will allow two people to go in two seated vehicles so that would be uh, certainly a bonus for us when uh, for someone like us who's playing the game as a multiplayer you can travel around together we did funny well enough actually talk about that wouldn't be good to have that in game and a few weeks later there it was do a stop there next time do an empty and I can do a thumbnail and get the tractor in the right place and then we can uh, continue with the time lapse Okay, so let's uh, do some time lapsing. Welcome back from the time lapse there. 
so yeah, we're doing okay. The field is almost harvest, and we'll see if we can get the rest of this field in. And Alexa has popped back to the farm to get our second tractor because it's slightly more powerful than the one we first head down there. Uh, so hence why we need new tractor really because obviously as we've improved the machinery in other words having a bigger trailer there and a bigger plow it means it's taking its toll on the tractors and that's why sort of the maintenance on them went down quite quick because obviously they weren't really as strong or suitable to use this machinery so uh, yeah he's gone back to uh, get the second tractor which he's now got at the top of the screen um, so what we do we will finish harvesting this field we will then jump into the tractors because the other one's still here and then we will follow him up to the shop and we will then see how much we have made from our crop here almost done and a couple more trips and then hopefully the field will be finished harvest so we've done pretty well in today's video really we've got a new bay there we've uh, harvested the field so we've got an expensive bay there, pretty cheap we've, uh, and we've made money so uh, quite a successful day down on the farm today I wonder if we're going to do this in two or will it need another one, little one <laughs> We will find out in the next rundown. It's going to be close. It's going to be one of those in patches it might need uh, a little bit. How far over can we go? That's about it, really. I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse or have it whizzed past it but uh, Alexa was flying again he was doing his Superman impression again right let's see whether we can uh, collect all this I'm not confident I'm not I'm really not moment of truth not quite never we we'll come back for that a little bit well I don't know it's been 96 percent full as well oh no we're going to need an empty ho Lexta Okay, we just need to turn around just to get that last little bit. There we go. Just this bit through the middle here. There we go. All done. Okay, so let's pop into uh, this tractor. And let's follow our legs up to the shop.
see how the weight of that trailer will go onto that tractor. That tractor is slightly a bit more powerful than this one. But let's see how he goes. He's struggling on the hill already. <laughs> he's got up it though. Yeah, he's he's got there. Now obviously it also works going downhill because you got the the weight of the trailer pushing onto the tractor, so you can affect the steering and the balance and uh, the speed going down the hill just as much as up. <laughs> Good old English countryside roads, eh? So here we are, so we didn't go too far anyway. So we were on two hundred and three thousand three hundred and twenty five at the moment. So let's see how much uh, we get when he sells. He's gone up to the top. There it goes. So we had a profit of 59,860. So uh, yeah, that's uh, a good day today, Lexter. So uh, yep, yeah, that's a positive day. So thank you very much everyone for joining us today on what we feel is a good day down on the farm. See you next episode. Take care everyone. Bye for now.